Hey everyone, it's Bronson 75 here, and today guys, I'm going to be uploading part 3 of my playthrough on Sonic CD. So last time we went through Collusion Chaos, where we saw Amy, but then she, imme she immediately got captured by Metal Sonic. And now, today, we're going to be going through Tidal Tempest Zone. So let's do this. So Tidal Tempest is actually one of my favorite stages in this game, and it's actually... And it's actually the only water stage in this entire game. Not, I don't think any of the other stages feature water at all, so that's weird. Like, first this game lacks bottomless pit, and now it just shows... It, it only shows one stage with water, so that's kind of odd. But yeah, Tidal Tempest lo looks exactly... Looks uh, kind of similar to Leapy Rinzel from Sonic 1, but... But, um... But it does... This is like... But, uh... But at least that background in the, at least that background though it like it just shows like different like sh it shows different weird pictures. Hmm. But yeah, but I, but yeah about the music though I really do like the music in the Japanese version of the stage a lot better than the U.S. version. I know the U.S. version of this game is really good, but the Japanese version of this game, oh my god, that music is so good. Like I. Like I can just listen, to, I can just listen to it for 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 an hour, and can and I can never get tired of it. Like it sounds really good. Cause I know, cause I know that uh, I think a YouTuber named So Call Me Johnny. I think he kind of mentioned it in his Super Gaming Brothers videos, and and I think is and I think in it in his uh, Brain Scratch commentaries videos. But yeah, he actually stated that he also love he also loves the the Japanese uh, theme of the stage. Right, let's get that dude there. Yep, and, he, and yep, so yep, it, so yeah, pretty sure many people on YouTube really like the Japanese version of the game, and, and yeah, I think that's all I have to say, say, say about that. Alright, so let's go on to the past here. Yeah, one thing about Sonic CD though, it's like, uh, at least in the remake version, there we go, we got, there we go, we got the generator, at least in the remake version, like, it does take a while to actually get to the past or to the future. You know, because I'm not even I'm not even sure why. I'm not even sure why. Maybe it's just like that. But uh, but yeah, but yeah. Like I said in the last part, I'm not gonna be going through any more special stages because I will, I will, uh, I will just be going for the generators. So just bear bear with me, guys. All right. So here we are. In, here we are in Act Two. Yep. And I just noticed in the original Sega CD version of this act. Like the uh, that wall that that wall behind Sonic actually starts moving before it can even start the stage. But yeah, but at least in the remake version, uh, yeah, yeah, you can actually start the stage before the wall uh before the wall comes to push uh before the wall moves to put moves to push you. So yeah. Okay, this part is weird. Like we're just falling down forever, like until you just land on one of those platforms. What the heck? So. Is this basically a loop or something? I have no I have no idea what this is about. Alright, so let's keep on going. But yeah, uh, I forgot to mention in, in the first two parts. Uh, but yeah, this game is also on the PS... This game is also on the PS3 and Xbox 360. And yep, and, I'm, and yeah, you guys may have seen my comments in other people's videos. You know, who are actually playing games on PS3 and Xbox 360. Yep, I don't have any of those systems. I have never had a PS3 or an Xbox 360. So, yeah, I can't, I really, I really wish I had a PS3. I really, I really wish I had uh, one of those systems because I would, I would play some like, some great Sonic games like Sonic Unleashed or Sonic Generations and many other, and many other game, uh, many other Sonic games like that. But, and and also, and also some uh, drag. Uh, Dragon Ball Z games like Dragon Ball Raging Blast or Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2 uh, Or Ultimate Tenkaichi or even or even Battle of Z, you know those kinds of games Yeah, I just, yeah because I've always wanted to I've always wanted one of those systems since I was younger And now even one of even some of my cousins have those systems. So that's completely unfair All right, so anyway back to this game. So we got to pass on so yep Let's use these springs once again so we can go back in time yeah, one thing about the U.S. version of of the title Tempest soundtrack, I always keep hear, 
I keep hearing ladies like sing or whatnot. Like they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, something like that. It's kind of weird. But yeah, uh, but yeah, it still, but it still sounds great though. But I still like the Japanese version of this theme a lot better. The past version of this theme, on the other hand, it looks. Sorry, um, it sounds really cool though. It sounds really great. Also, I, I noticed that, uh, that the water is not. I noticed that the water, you know, in the pa in the past. So not past, uh, present version of the stage, it kind of looks like, like it's it's kind of like uh, less green, you know, than it was in the, like in the in the in the console versions and and in the original Sega CD version. I know, I know in the Gems Collection port of this, uh, Gems Collection port of this game that uh, that the water is complete, uh, completely, uh, complete, completely clear due to the graphics. Oh my God! <laughs> okay, I forgot about that crushing thing right there okay at least I get to go through the stage uh, over again this time this time in the past version all right so let's go down let's come down here hold on I want to see if I can show you guys the good future version of this stage let's see. future or well, I don't I don't even know if I can I don't know I don't I guess I'll just complete the stage just normally all right Damn, look at all those fishes swimming around there. That's really, that's really awesome. Oh yeah, I did mention in, I think in the font, in the part seven of my Sonic One and Android playthrough. Yeah, this game does not have drowning music. It only has those wall, wall, wall sound effects. Come on, there. You see, you see, as those numbers, as those numbers popped up, uh, you know, instead of a drowning music or, or like, uh, or like beeping sound effects, you know, it just has like, you know, some kind of a drowning sound, like it's. It sounds like wah wah wah, but um, yeah, yeah. It's kind of weird how this game and probably some of the 8-bit Sonic games, well, except for Sonic Pocket Adventure, that uh, that actually that don't actually feature the drowning music. Yeah, because the drowning music kind of seemed kind of seems scary though. Like it even scared me, scared me though. Like when I used to play Sonic, some Sonic games, like the classic Sonic games when I was younger. All right. Let's come up here. Yo. <laughs> Think we got some air right there. Alright. Whoa, what the heck? Remember this from Lady Rin Zone? Yeah, now uh now the the wind currents kinda uh, actually float you in the air. Okay, I wanna s I'm just gonna go back to the presence if I can. See if I can do this. Okay. All right. Right as you spin dash, like uh, right after you spin dash, make sure you gotta jump on the spring and then and then keep bouncing it, bouncing on it a couple of times until, uh, until, until um, yeah, until you go uh, until you go back into the future or back. I don't even know what I'm saying, but yeah, just do whatever. All right. Let's get up here. Oh yeah. Honestly, I've never. Honestly, though, I think I remember. I think I remember the time that it took me. It took me a while to complete complete like two of the stage. There we go. We got the got the water before we drowned. And let's use our light speed lights. Sorry, uh, super peel out. I just called it light speed dash. Light speed dash for some reason, but but anyway, we made a good feature in zone two. Yeah, I gotta love that act clear music. All right, so here is the good feature of of the third act of of Title Tempest, and yeah, it looks like it looks uh, yep, it features like a lot of pink wall pink walls, and I think some, and it and it also features uh, several um, blue walls as well, like uh, with the pink walls. So that's pretty cool. All right, Eggman should be here. Here he is. All right, so basically you gotta chase down Eggman, kind of like. You know, kind of like in the labor zone boss fight, uh, boss battle, which wasn't actually, but you gotta hit him several times and, bam! All right, now let's grab this invincibility here and let's continue chasing Eggman. I noticed that uh, I noticed that Act Three of these stages in this game they're kind of they're kind of similar to, um, you know, the Sonic Master System games. You know, which probably some of you guys may have seen me play on my channel. 
Yeah, but you just gotta go through the stage just briefly and then and then you gotta find Eggman afterwards. Okay, really Eggman? That's the only thing you can do, just you know, just getting bubbles on you. Oh no, I'm about to drown. Come on, come on. There we go. That was close. Alright, so now you uh so what you gotta do in this boss fight, you gotta uh, absorb all those air bubbles. Shoot. And then you also gotta watch out for those uh, those small little blasts that Eggman shoots out of his egg pods, so you gotta be careful about that. Oh my god. Yeah, sorry if you can see my finger in the way. It's just that it's just that um you know it's just it's just that uh, it's just because I have to use uh, use those you know just to make you know just to control Sonic though. You know since you know since I'm playing this on my tablet though, cause I cause I just realized I've been showcasing a lot of mobile games on my channel recently. I think about actually, uh, like, uh, playing, like, a DS game, or 3DS game, or something like that. Yeah, I just plan- I'm actually planning on doing that soon. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, it seems that some people on YouTube say that the- Wow, you only got to hit them once, and that's it? Seriously, what is going on with these boss fights, though, in this game? It's kind of weird. But yeah, uh, some people on YouTube say that the the boss theme in the US version, you know, of Sonic CD, like kind of like sounds to sounds dark, and it and, and I've been and I've actually viewed some comments on like other people's videos that it kind of like find them as a good All right, be right back. All right, I had to pause the recording so I can quit the game and then get to the main menu. But yeah, as I was saying, um, yeah, the boss uh the boss music for the US version of Sonic CD, you know, kind of like uh. You know, like, uh, I, I mean, uh, a lot of people on YouTube say that, uh, you know, that, that the U.S. version of, the U.S. version of the boss fight in Sonic CD kind of, like, sounds really dark, and it kind of, like, uh, and it might, like, it might, like, scare, and that, and that actually has scared, uh, people as a kid, a kid, you know, like, you know, like, I would view it, I've been, I would, because I was actually reading the comments on, on other people's videos, you know, like, I think for a brain scratch commentary has played through this game, you know, they actually, like uh, the commenters said that uh, that the boss music, you know, kind of creeped them out as a kid. You know, all all because you hear that, you know, all because you hear you hear that like you hear that creepy laugh in the background. I have to do, do admit it. I have to admit it. It really does sound. It really does sound crazy. Um. But anyway, guys, that uh, that wraps up for this video. So, so yep. Yeah, uh, please. Um. Uh. So feel free to like the video, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Google Plus as well. So yep. Yeah, uh. Yep, thank you all for watching and see you guys later.